Today's show is sponsored by Game Time. Download Game Time today to get the last minute tickets, lowest prices guaranteed. In today's show, we're going to be talking about Lions versus Giants practice. What went down today? It's all about this practice, and we're going to get into it. We're going to do the injury update. Who started the game? Who didn't practice? Who finished the game? Lions offense, how did they do? Lions defense, how did they do? Special teams and overall. Before practice, those are the two players that really didn't practice. Sam Laporte, he was a no practice. Dan Campbell said it's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. And Brian Branch did individual drills to start this bad boy over. And when we talk about the winners here, I'm just going to go through a couple players who I thought had a good practice today. And then we're going to go through just individual accolades, all of that here. And Jamison Williams continues to be a winner as him and Jared Goff struck again with Jamison Williams get another touchdown against the defensive backs of the New York Giants. And this has just been a trend that is continuing throughout OTA's minicamp now into... Uh, practicing with other teams, and he is absolutely dominating. Jamison Williams is going to be a good player this year. He is going to have a breakout season, in my opinion, because he just continues to do good, whatever and whoever he's going against. And this is fantastic news for the Detroit Lions of him burning the Giants secondary because he's been going against the Lions defense, was burning them, and now he's burning competition that is not Detroit Lions. It is a big winner for today. But I got a question for you. Who is the biggest winner so far in training camp? You can name anybody in the comment section. Let me know. The next winner on my list is the Sun God as he continues to be dominant on the practice field. Matter of fact, he caught a football and he all got in a scrum and a fight broke out at practice and it started with the Sun God not being afraid of these DBs. Matter of fact, there was a ton of fights in practice today. Four. These guys were juiced up, and St. Brown was one of those. Continues to dominate, get passes, touchdown from Jared Goff. Lions wide receiver here. All of the wide receivers, at least the starting ones, uh, you know, St. Brown, Jameson Williams, they just continue to be the stud in training camp. They just continue to be. And... Really fiery, really fiery. He's taken this practice, this offseason, this training camp, 100% to the limit. And that's fantastic because that's what we need. We need him to do that, and that's what is taking place. He is a massive winner on my list in today's uh, today's practice for sure. Lions tickets are no joke right now. They're pretty expensive. Why? Because this team is freaking good. You know, if you go to certain websites, you may have a problem even finding Lions tickets. But if you want to save money and get tickets for the best prices, you need to get game time because they have killer deals, last minute tickets, and lowest prices guaranteed where you could stop stressing and start getting hype for the fun that you're going to have. It's easy to find and buy tickets for every kind of event in your area without sporty events, concerts, comedy shows, or whatever. With their lowest price guaranteed, that's the game time guaranteed, which means you're always getting the best prices. And if you find tickets in the same area and section or less, game time is going to credit you 110% of the difference. You can get exclusive flash deals on tickets for football, baseball, basketball, concerts, and more. And the middle screenshot, by the way, I think it's a fantastic feature of the app. It shows you where you see it is, and if you move your phone left or right, you can see the surrounding area like a 3D live photo. So download Game Time, plug in Chat Sports, and you'll get $20 off your very first purchase. Again, get Game Time, go to Redeem Code section, plug in Chat Sports, you get $20 off your very first purchase. Terms to apply, you got to create an account, you got to have an email to get this thing done. The information in, is going to be in the description and comment section of this video. If you are buying Lion 6 this year, make sure you're using Game Time. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest prices guaranteed. Next individual winner on my list for today's practice is Aleem McNeil. I watched him do a rep where he was literally pushing the defender. It felt like 10 feet back. He was just absolutely wrecking the line of scrimmage. It was unbelievable to see Aleem just completely dominate that defensive line. And 
that's what you want to see, right? We know what's going to be happening with him and how he's an integral part to the Detroit Lions defensive line. We need him to take that next step. And it's important to understand, too, as we got to determine when we're going to get this guy to a contract extension. And everything that we have been hearing and what I literally just seen, man, we need to get the contract done before this season starts because he could have a, a significant breakout season. It's going to cost the Detroit Lions a ton of money but he continues to go in the right direction. Jared Goff is also a winner on my list. Multiple touchdowns in today's game. One to be Darius Fountain. Other one to Jamison Williams. Good passes to Amon Ross St. Brown. He did have a, one interception today. But all in all, considering the work that he did on the field, you got to give Jared Goff a winner for today's practice. And he just continues to be a player that is going in the right direction. You know, He's going to be a player who should be a dark horse for MVP. I'm not saying he's going to get it. But with the work that he's doing and the offense just continues to make strides, and now we're seeing it even against the Giants defense, not just the Lions defense, but the Giants defense as well, which look, we, we could talk about their offense, but their defense is the better part of their football team. And so it's really good to see the Lions and, and Jared Goff continue to make these strides as we're trying to make a Super Bowl. That's what we're trying to do. And you have to put in the reps, you have to put in the work, and it's getting done right now. Question for you, concern lever over the Lions injuries. Let me know your level of concern here because we're talking about it right now. Here are some losers on my list for today. It's it's not generally players. It's more of situations or injury. Terrian Arnold is being evaluated for a concussion. That is a loser, in my opinion, because you don't want to see our players get hit. I seen the play that it took place. It was the left tackle pushing Terrian Arnold. And he stood his ground. He barely moved two feet. I was reading a lot of the comments from the Giants players, and they were like, wow, Terrian Arnold is an absolute stud. He, he kept his ground. But... You know, we got to wait and monitor to see what the injury is going to be like. Is this, does he actually get a concussion or is this just being, you know, a little bit pre, you know, just keeping him safe and, and bubble wrapping a little bit? We shall see. Another injury here that's the one that's more concerning is Kevin Zeitler injured his shoulder. Now, we don't know the significance of the injury of Kevin Zeitler. We just know he was pulled from practice with a shoulder injury. Man, that sucks. We have got to stop with these injuries here, and we cannot be having it. We already lost John Kaminsky, Natane Muti, um, and those were less, right? Michael Badgley, and now Zeitler. Hopefully, it's not significant because we need Zeitler for this year. We 110% do, so that absolutely stinks the bed. Hedden Hooker overthrows Jalen Calhoun, and the reason I had to put him on a loser list is just this play because he actually made a touchdown here, so he had a 50-50. But he's got us. He's got to not overthrow. He's got to stop staring down the receivers. Jared Goff was intercepted in one play, so I'm going to put that as a loser here. Um, again, it's a second interception all all uh, off season so far. Not bad. Darius Slayton burns the Lions secondary for a touchdown. A little bit concerning there as we need our secondary to not get burned, right? We've been burned a couple times so far in training camp, and now we got burned again today. Not so good. Jalen Hyatt burns the Lions defense as well in a long pass. It wasn't a touchdown, but it was a burn nonetheless. Carlton Davis, you know, Arnold. And, all, and, and the rest of the Lions secondary has got to get this figured out. And same with Aaron Glenn. You know, this is a situation where we cannot consistently get burned like we have last year. Burn, burn, burn. And then so far in camp, we, we've gotten burned a couple times. This needs to end. It needs to end. We cannot do this on a consistent, consistent basis. Let's do some individual things that took place. That are good in practice. Darius Fountain, again, got a touchdown from Jared Goff. Fountain's locked himself, folks. He's making the roster. He's um, he's locked himself. Donovan Peoples-Jones is not not a lock now. So I'm putting Darius Fountain as number four as a lock. Now there's just two, in my opinion, only two positions left, a wide receiver. Maurice Norris broke up a pass, had a safety, uh, had a sack safety blitz. Very good play by uh, Maurice Morris. Gra er, Maurice Norris, congratulations on that. He continues to trend in the right direction. Panay Sewell took four giants in a scrum. Yeah, four giants was trying to take down one Panay Sewell. 
They got players on, on defense. We got a Panay Sewell. Ennis Rakestraw picking off again. Rakestraw continues to be a physical presence, and he is getting practice after practice going in the right direction. Levon Wuzrik had a near, uh, a near sack, smashed the ball down, and Brian DeBall, the head coach of the New York Giants, was angry about it as you don't want to hit quarterbacks in practice. That's why they wear the red jersey. He didn't hit him. He knocked the ball down, but... I get it. This was an aggressive, aggressive practice. Again, Hennon Hooker, he scrambled for a touchdown. The play broke broke up, and he runs around, gets a touchdown with his legs. That's what you like to see. Sion Ivaki had a rushing touchdown. Very, very good. And this is a continued work for Sion Ivaki to be a player whom the Lions could utilize as a little bit of a universal tool here. He can be in the pass game and in the run game. Vaki, in my opinion, has made the team. I've already told you about that, and he's going to be a player whom the Lions use on special teams, as well as, I think, some plays on offense this year, even though he's a fourth-round player. And we got good running backs. He is a guy who is more of the theoretic passing. But he's a good running back. The battle between him and Craig Reynolds continues for the number three running back. I do believe that all the running backs, such as uh, you know Jameer Gibbs, David Montgomery, Sione Vaki, and Craig Rounds make the roster. Uh, it's just who is going to be number three and who number four. That's what I have for my prediction. So all in all, I'd say it's a positive practice besides the injuries. The offense continues to hum. The defense of, of backfield's got a little bit of issues. they got to take care of. we got to uh, wait and see uh, the Kevin Zeitler injury in the – Injury to our number one draft pick, Terry Arnold, and I don't think it's serious. Just evaluating for a concussion. So, folks, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. With that said, adios.